I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be how to build your confidence. Well, I get a lot of guys that write to me, and this particular email I'm going to share with you is from a guy who I've been coaching off and on for, I guess, about the past year and a half. He was an on-the-road trucker, and I probably there's maybe six or eight articles that I've written with him if you've been following my work for a while over the past year, year and a half. And one of the things he always refers back to is how does he build his confidence? And a lot of times he asks the same questions over and over in these articles. And the other thing is he'll actually go out and succeed because I've got one of the articles here that I'm going to share some of the things with you. And he'll apply this stuff and be like, holy shit, this really works. It's just more confirmation that I need to do these things that you talk about, Corey. But yet three or four months later, or He'll send me an email asking me the same question, like, oh, it's just, how do I build my confidence? I don't know how to have success. And this is one of the ways that we tend to bullshit ourselves. And this guy in particular is bullshitting himself because he knows he needs to do something and he knows what he needs to do. And not only that, he knows how to be successful at it. But instead, this is what he does to keep himself on the couch. And so, just to give you a little background, he was absolutely, totally miserable doing what he was doing. He fucking hated his job. He made decent money at it, but he was always on the road six days a week. And plus, he lived in, you know, BFE, as we like like to say here in the state, which is like bumfuck Egypt. In other words, it's like, it's not anything derogatory about Egypt. It's referring to like in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere, basically. That's where he lived. And there was like nobody around, and he never had anybody to hang out with. And so... That's what we used to talk about. It was like the Egyptian, the desert. There's nothing there. It's like, you know. So it's a great analogy, but he says, Hey, Corey, how you doing? It's been a while since I emailed you, and I got a few questions here. Where does confidence come from? I know that women respond to it, but since I moved to Indiana, it looks like it's going to be a long, strange trip till I can get to where I want to be with women. And so he basically quit his job, last night I talked to him and he moved to Indiana and he lives like literally a few blocks away from college because he's going back to college to become a vet and I think he's around 30 if I remember right and you know he'd been hemming and hawing it took him a long time I mean he just moved there about a month ago and he and I started talking about this a year ago so it took him a year to get to the point which is great he actually did it he quit his fucking job instead of just complaining about it, he actually took action and he got himself out of the city and or I say out of the bum punk Egypt basically and moved to where he's got a lot of close friends and family and people that love and support him he got a job lined up and everything and so he's a few blocks away from campus and so he's right where a lot of beautiful young women, exactly the type of women that he likes to interact with and date, are located. <clears throat> and so now that he's there, now he's kind of psyching himself out, saying, oh, I can't do anything. You know, I don't know what to do. But yet he does know what to do, and so he's, he's bullshitting himself a little bit. So I think it's great that you got off your ass and you moved to be close to school. And so it's going to take eight years for him to get through college and get his degree. But it's something he really loves. He's always wanted to be a veterinarian, and so that's what he's going to college for. And I think it's fucking awesome. I'm really proud of you that you grew a set, grew a set of balls, and you said, fuck this, told the, your boss to take his job and shove it, I'm sure, in a nice way. And you're, take, you're doing something for yourself to make yourself happy and actually go to school for something that you want to learn about and get a job and a career, something that you actually love and you have a passion for. Because when you're doing something you have a passion for, it makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel happy. I mean, look at me. I love what I'm doing. This is just absolutely amazing. I come here and I can write articles and I can do YouTube videos and I can talk to clients that are literally on every single continent all around the world. And most of these people I'll never meet, but through the power of the internet, I can talk and I can help people. I can change lives all over the planet. And that's amazing. And that's why I'm excited about this stuff. And I talk so fast and I talk with passion because it's fucking exciting to me. I think it's amazing. And this is what happens when you do something you have a passion for. Because when it gets tough, you'll keep working even when you feel like quitting because nothing else makes you feel as good as this. And that's what he's obviously finding out. Now he's going to be going, he's going to school doing something that he really wants to learn about and he's excited about. And because of that, because he has a passion for it, he's going to do well in it. So he says, women out, ain't ha out here ain't going to be any easier than anywhere else. Yeah, you actually have to talk to women 
to get something to happen. Any recommendation, recommended reading or daily ways to pound this shit out? Go to the mall at least once a week and start practicing these skills. I would say this over and over. You got to talk to people. You got to implement this stuff, and you got to do it everywhere you go. It can't just be okay when I go out to talk to women. Then I'm going to talk to them. Then it's like no, everywhere you go. If you're waiting in line to get your coffee or pay for your groceries or pay for your gas or whatever it happens to be, you talk to people online. You you make small talk. I've done plenty of videos and plenty of articles on this stuff. So you just go to my website and look under attraction category and reread those things. As a matter of fact, I'm going to – let me just finish reading this and then I'm going to go to an article that I wrote with him. And you're going to see. It's like he knows how to do this stuff and he knows he knows how to do it. He even admits it. And he says – he says, I'm fucking frustrated when I see a lot of these fuckers know better than me out there with all these great women. It's like, well, they're putting themselves out there, and right now, you're not. You're deciding to be fearful and do nothing. Fuck, man, I got a lot to offer, but no girls this far. Yeah, that's what happens when you do nothing. I had the best briefly a few years ago, but that was... He says, basically, how does he get back to this place? <clears throat> and so he... Let me, I'm going to read through some of, this, some of the things he says here. So he has this great experience, and he goes out and has this awesome time. He goes out with one of his buddies, and he's just a cocky jackass. He's with one of his best friends, and they're laughing, they're joking, they're having a good time. I think one of his buddies was playing a concert that night. And so he was just having, he was there to have a good time. And that's the subtle difference. It's like you don't go out to look for women. You go out to have fun with your friends. And if, you know, meet some really, I mean, I, I'm sure you're surrounded by gorgeous women. Make friends with a couple of them. Say, look, I just moved this town and I want to meet some new people. And you girls seem like really cool chicks. And I'd like to go out and meet some new people. So, hey, where are you guys going to be? And I'll meet you out and we'll hang out and have a drink or, or whatever. I'll buy her a fucking round of beer or something. Get a text and then just meet her out. Or meet some of the girls from your classes. You know, go meet them out because they're going to go out and party and you can practice these skills. And so he has all this great fun. And he basically says, he says, I had this great fun. I kept my composure well and it looked manly. It must have been the Ted Nugent shirt. Ha. Ah. He got a lot of compliments. I got a lot of compliments too. Let's see. I'll give you a rundown. I got two phone numbers. One was a hot Puerto Rican. Sloppy kissed and groped. Got groped with two hotties. Got my nuts massaged on a bike ride, made some new friends, and some college hottie put her feet on my face and told me to smell them pretty dogs. And he says, anyway, it was fun. This only, here's what he says. This is the kicker. He says, anyway, it was fun and only proves to me that I should put myself out there more. And my comment at the time was, how fucking long have I been telling you that? And he says, fucking A. So... How do I go about celebrating these little accomplishments? But, you know, the point being is that he did a great, you you succeeded this, you know how to do it, you've already practiced it, and so the only thing you need to do is get off your ass and practice. Why? Because practice is repetition, and repetition is the mother of skill. And when you practice this stuff over and over, guess what? You're going to get the same fucking results you got six months ago when you went out with your buddy, focused on the two of you having a good time. Because when you're having an outrageous good time with your friends without worrying about meeting women, guess what? You're gonna All the women are going to come up to you because every other guy in the bar is looking to meet women and you're going to be the only non-hungry dudes in there. And especially if you go out with a bunch of beautiful women. Just hanging out with them and laughing and joking and doing shots together and having an outrageous time guess what? You're going to meet other women and, and they're going to probably know other hot friends and say, oh, this is my buddy so-and-so. you got to meet him. He's awesome. He's going to school for veterinarian. Blah, blah, blah. It's all you got to do, brother. Just get your ass off the couch and start interacting with all these gorgeous women you're surrounded with. And if you're too scared to ask him out, just become friends with him and say, hey, I'd like to hang out and meet you guys out. I just moved here. I want to meet some new friends. Where's a cool place to go? Where are you girls going to be this week? And I'll meet up. I'll buy you guys a fucking round of drinks or whatever and we'll just hang out and have a good time. Or especially the girls that you go to school with or that are in your classes, ask them to meet you out for study hall or to form study groups together so you can meet other people. you got to develop your social network, and then you'll have lots of people calling you every weekend just to come hang out with them because they love you. I mean, I'm telling you, all these college girls would fucking love to have this guy that was out with his buddy. They would love to be with a dude that gets it because you'll help them meet guys that they like, and you'll meet lots of girls that you like. 
So if you appreciate the value of the information in this video, you can go to my website and show your appreciation, understandingrelationships.com, by clicking the PayPal Donate button on any page of my website, which is located on the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen, and just donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this video with all your friends and family by clicking any one of the social network sharing buttons, which are also located on this video itself, thanks to YouTube. And if you've got a question or a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video newsletter, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen, if you're watching this on my website, and send me three or four paragraphs max detailing your questions or your challenges or your situation, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response, because I get a lot of email from the internet. I also get plenty of email from my paying phone coaching customers, and i got to focus on their emails first, but be patient, I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, you can book a paid phone coaching session with me personally by clicking the products tab at the top of your screen if you're watching this video on my website and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.